I'm a, a part of the Indigenous Peoples Commission. So what we wanted to do is like uh, now that the TRC is within the school board and they're trying to truth and reconciliation and incorporate into the curriculum of all the schools, what we decided to do is team up together. So what we're doing is we're going to do four different schools within the area um, where it's going to be called the Four Canoes Project. Um, in doing so, what we're trying to do is put out like, more knowledge. There's a lot of lack of knowledge, so we're trying to put out the more knowledge and such. Uh, for them to be able to understand exactly what truth and reconciliation is. Um, the reason why we picked the birch bark canoe is because it's part of pretty much every single indigenous culture and it's been like a long, long time. I'm, I think the oldest one reported so far is like six or seven hundred years old, but I know it's been going on for about a thousand years, right? So being able to do that and like share it with everybody else just to spread that knowledge is actually pretty good. You know, the, the kids are really enthusiastic about it and they're learning a lot. I was able to, you know, uh, bring the things I learned in class and I was able to apply them to the canoe and basically like learn that like, with the uh, uh, culture of indigenous people. Well, there's definitely something to be said about using our hands manually. It's kind of a lost art, especially today, the way that we teach in class. We use a lot of power drills, a lot of different tools. So just take it back to a more fundamental uh, and just the roots. Uh, it's awesome because we're learning about the culture and I've picked up so many hands-on skills because I plan to go into trade, so this is amazing. <laughs>